Okay, well, in one of my uh, Gadgets and Gizmos series, I described these die holders for use in the lathe tail stock. I thought I'd just run a quick demo and uh, show it actually in use. One of the things which I think I referred to before was that I quite often like to turn the spindle by hand. So we get this handle out, get that in the spindle with the keys engaged. There we are. Now I've got quite a reasonable leverage. And then what we've got here, which will come into more detail in a moment, what we've done is put a piece of scrap in the uh, three jaw. I've already turned it down. There's no need to watch it being turned. I'm sure that'll be totally boring. Uh, I've got to put a chamfer on there in a minute, and then we'll move on to move on to. Um, show the action of the die unit which we're going to use to get probably about two turns started. So coming back to these holders, this one is for the smallest size, we'll put that to one side. And for convenience I'm going to use one of the large large dies, it's easier to demonstrate so we'll locate the center split and then we've got to take up the locating set screws not too much pressure, we're basically locating check these get set screws of different lengths not that it matters all right so there we are we've got the die in there and then this is the number two morse that's going to go in the tail stock and there's the whole thing ready to go Well, bear in mind this has uh, only been rough machine for the purposes of demonstrating the die. But uh, let's take the handle out of the spindle for now. Just run this up and put a quick chamfer on it. I like to put a fairly generous, that's probably moving the floor, put a fairly generous chamfer on. Makes life a bit easier. Alright, we'll put the uh, number two morse in the tail stock. Then put the die holder in there. Now what we're going to add, which I forgot to get ready, is a piece of round bar, which is going to go in there, that should show. And then now what we've got to do is to bring this uh, tail stock up. Let's get another angle and see what we're doing a bit better. Now we've got the uh, round bar in place which is supported by the compound slide. I've taken the tool post off. I've got the handle in the spindle. 
a little bit of tapping lube there. What I'm going to do is to slide this out onto the end. Now to start to turn with a little bit of pressure to the left. Now back off. You can see we've just got a cut starting. Let's see if we can get in a bit closer. Okay, I don't go in too tight or I'll lose focus. So we've just made a very short start. We're going to come up again. Just turn that and feel a slight engagement. Now apply a bit of pressure. I'm applying pressure this way and of course the die holder is able to slide out of the mandrel here or arbor. Another quarter turn, back off. Another quarter turn, back off. You can see we're beginning to get something happening here, I think. Another quarter, half turn, back off. Another half turn, maybe a bit more. There we are. That's the beginnings of a thread. I don't know whether you can zoom in and get that. Try and get that to show a bit more. Okay, apart from floor movement, where uh, let's just get a brush a minute. A little, oops, another little squirt of tapping lube there. I've mentioned the fact that this is really very often just a starter thread for two, three turns, but there's plenty of depth in this holder. So if I come back here again, light pressure to the left, threads are re-engaged. Now we're biting. I'll take another whole turn, two turns, three turns, and back off. See that's now coming off the thread on its own. There we are. Uh, I've got about five, six turns. We can probably probably just go another turn or so, a little three. There you go, let's take a whole bite. And back we come, and of course everything is in the main axis, nice and square. And there's our thread. Let's take the handle out to one side and there we are I don't know whether it can get in any closer I think that shows the thread quite nicely all right just to finish off let's imagine we wanted to go a bit further with this uh, thread a little bit of uh, tapping loop again all right we've got the uh, die in a die stock so what I'm doing here is hold that there just to get a start. There we are. So now we can wind that on. I think it's probably about enough space there. Wind it on. Okay, now we're up to where we finished before. Now we do another one, two, three, four, five. Six. And just wind that off. Now, what that didn't show, just zoom back just to check because this wasn't actually showing. Yeah, what I wasn't showing there was the fact that the um, having got that started the support on the compound which you can see now <laughs> you couldn't see it before so there you are that takes all the force we know we're running true from the previous start and there we are close again yeah, so this is a British thread actually, it's um, BSF 
3 8 by 20 TPI. It's a very useful compromise thread actually, it's probably not too different from uh, National Fine. Probably no, and it's probably not as fine as that, but it's not as coarse as National Coarse. Which I think would be an 18 in that, wouldn't it? I can't remember. Anyway, there we are. Simple bit of thread cutting with a die, starting off with the uh, holder unit in the tailstock.